Hey Ross World, my money makes money. As promised, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin started in 2009 by a guy called Satoshi Nakamoto. Hopefully I didn't butcher his name. Now, this is the first decentralized digital currency. This is also called cryptocurrency or virtual currency. Now, the way this works is first and foremost, Bitcoins are held in a digital wallet, which is used throughout the internet or over the internet using an electronic signature to authorize that transaction. Now, once it goes through the internet, they have what you call these Bitcoin miners. That transaction is authorized by some Bitcoin miners. Now, that transaction, once it gets to the person or to the company to that you're transferring that Bitcoin for the services that you're purchasing, that transaction is then stored on the blockchain, which is a ledger, electronic ledger. See, there's no physical Bitcoins and the balances are associated with addresses, with electronic addresses throughout the internet. And all, and each of those addresses can actually be viewed on the electronic blockchain. And I don't say electronic blockchain, but blockchain is the ledger that keeps everything centralized that anyone can actually view. That is what you call transparency. And also Bitcoins, not like traditional banks, like you're going through PayPal, anything like that, has very, very low fees. Now, each one of those addresses have what they call an electronic key that actually authorizes that transaction. Now, that key should be only known to the order of that Bitcoin or Bitcoins that you're trying to transfer to that company or maybe another person or even an exchange to do your transaction. Now, if you're asking yourself, is this legal in the United States? Yes, this is very, very legal in the United States and also a lot of places around the world. That's why a lot of people are doing Bitcoin nowadays. Even in Africa, they're exchanging Bitcoins in certain countries. And if you're trying to figure out where can you buy Bitcoin, they have all these exchanges. The only thing you need to do is Google it and they will pop up and you can go in there and start to buy your Bitcoins. Now, once again, Bitcoin price is running up every day. Now, if you go around to your local neighborhoods or wherever you live in your communities, you might even see on their window or somewhere on their table, their desk, that they may accept Bitcoin for currency in order you to do business. Maybe you're buying a product or maybe you're buying a service, whatever it may be. There are a lot of people popping up around in the nation accepting Bitcoins. So that is basically it when it comes to Bitcoins. Now, I'm going to release another video right after this one. I wanted to break them up so they won't be that long. And I'm going to go over other types of cryptocurrencies really quickly. So this is mainly about Bitcoin and how things got started. So you have a better knowledge. And hopefully I broke it down so you guys understand. But if not, I'll leave a link in the description where you can research it for yourself. This is Ross World, where money may become electronic. I wonder what rappers going to do when money become electronic and they can't hold up and flash inside of the cameras anymore and splurge and look like they got a lot of money. I guess they're just going to show you their phone. I'm out.